Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2, the gutter edition! That red carpeting is very pretty. One moment I'm going to tinker with my equipment a little bit. I'm going to be honest, the Jester's Cap is not one of my favorite hats. It's just, yeah, it's, it's not bad, it just looks a little odd at times. Uh, let's see. I'm not even using Pyromancy, but it weighs nothing. Shield I'm using, yeah, maybe. Stone ring is always nice. Just how much damage does my spear do, anyway? 207 plus 68, 126 plus 79. If I actually upgraded the spear, I think it would be pretty competent as a weapon. Hmm. 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 Anyway, <clears throat> moving forward. That's enough of that. I'm not falling for that. Let's go this way. Okay, one thing to know in here is there are many ladders that lead downward. Some of which are one-way ladders and some of which lead to nowhere useful. Boop. And some of which are guarded by statues. Just be careful which ladders you fall off of. You don't want to drop down there willy-nilly. Or nilly-willy. Why are you on the... Get down here, you goober. I am trying to climb. Go away. No, item. Item. Must have item. Yay, a knife. Just what I always didn't need. Throwing knives actually aren't bad. I've just never actually gotten around to using them. I should probably keep my shield up just in case of statue. Yeah, there's one around here somewhere. I can hear a heartbeat in the background. That seems to be a tell that there's one of the poison spitter statues. Yeah, if I had any idea what was down there, I might jump. Let's not. What happens if you dual wield spears? Yeah, hello hole. I'd rather... Ooh, hello, item. Item, item, item. Item! Give me the item. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. I regret this. <sighs> anyway. Is that a walkway? Does that walkway lead anywhere useful? I suppose. I love the fact that I didn't break that. I hear, uh, I hear mummies. And by mummies, I mean undead citizens, the exploder dudes. I call them exploding mummies. Oh, a chest. Hello, chest. You are my friend. Well, hello there, exploding mummy that was way out of the way and unable to actually hurt me. Hello, guy with a torch that I really don't want to mess with. Oh, good, you'll just come up the ladder for me. That makes logic. In such a rush. Why have I not been using the spear up until now? I like this weapon. I like this weapon a lot. Hello there, sir. I like this weapon a lot. It has a sweeping attack. It has long reach. Don't mess with those. Like I've mentioned before, they're full of corrosion. A torch pedestal thing that would be really useful. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be kind of a time sink to climb all the way back up there. So I'm going to release a butterfly. I hear footsteps. 
What was the point in coming down here again? Ooh, dark fog. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, that. Can I... Yay, I can get through them without... Oh, come on. I can squeeze through there. Don't die. That makes me sad there's a torch spot there. Well, I guess all those people died to, I don't know, glowing eyes. Why? Go away, glowing eyes. And heartbeats. This place is straight out of Edgar Allan Poe's work. Black Gulch. I'm gonna light this and go back and light that torch, just because. Torch, torch, torch. Shadows are having a fit. I don't think they like my hat. When you run, the, the torch actually goes through part of the Jester's hat, so I think it's actually creating some dynamic lighting glitches. Oh, that's so much better. I, I wanted to read the message, but... Uh, okay, never mind. I didn't want to read the message. The Dark Souls fan base in a nutshell, everybody. Hmm. I haven't found any horses, though. You die! Ooh, so... Yeah, whatever that green mold is, it is not happy. I'm just gonna be forthright. A lot of these statues are toxic spit statues. Do I have any flaming arrows? Yes, I do. I'm going to show you a fun trick. Ah, there they are. I don't know how it's hitting that one over there, but yeah, pretty much that. Just find a safe spot and stand there until the poison wears off. Oh, and the, they don't they don't unlight apparently. You die. I'm still in the Rat Covenant, I just realized that. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, great magic weapon. Ow. I don't know how that missed. Hello. No! <laughs> I've n I don't know if I've ever actually been grabbed by that before. <laughs> I couldn't pick up the item. I wanted the item in the flaming oil, but this whole area is basically playing dodgeball. I don't know how I keep dodging that that's not planned at all. Okay, stop it! Goodness. Okay, you all die. You all die. And you all die too. Good. You're volunteering to die. And it actually managed to headshot me. Which just causes the stagger effect. I'm getting you out of my way.
Will you stop it? Stop being annoying. <sighs> the thing that really makes the statues annoying above all else is the fact that they stagger you. I mean, I'm going to be honest, it is literally the fact that you get staggered by it that makes them threatening. You're just going to stand there on fire, huh? Drink the Estus. Uh. Nice thing, though, if they follow the same rules as other destructible objects. Resting at a bonfire should not be enough to make them respawn as long as I don't die. Oh good, they're st still broken. Uh. Oh, fun fact. The forlorn are NPC invaders that randomly occur. They're, uh... He's gonna kill me, but just so you know... Now, how did you change direction in midair on that? That one was my bad. Will you roll? You spent way too much time not rolling. And yes, like I've mentioned before, since it is an NPC and Vader, I have no problem with Estusing. The rules of honor don't exactly apply to NPCs. Yay, Mr. I'm not gonna stagger. still have weird tracking on that jump. I mean, I my roll timing was bad, but he changed direction in midair during a jump attack. Now if only that would poison him. Aha! 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 Poke, 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 poke. Poke, 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 poke. Okay, Forlorn is dealt with. But yes, they are randomly generated invaders. They will either have a great sword or a scythe. There are certain areas of the game that they have a chance of invading, and this is apparently one of them. The Iron Keep is apparently another one. Uh. But yes. Okay, you die. I'm just going through and systematically busting up all of you things for being a nuisance. I need to go down there, too. Poke, 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 poke. Come get me. <gasps> Poke. Too bad. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, great. Now I got two of you. Nope. One of you. Okay. Now that that's dealt with. I'm gonna stand here until the poison wears. That one is spitting at the ground. That that that's kind of funny, actually. I think that one right there spit at me. Hello, giant worm. I will deal with you momentarily. Ooh, okay, you have more reach than I thought I remembered. You will be dealt with shortly.
Come get me. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Time Waster. Stupid things annoy me to great ends. Hole. Okay, got rid of them. Scraps of life, torch, large soul. Come here, mister. Get over here. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but you're in my way. You know, if, you, if you'd move, I wouldn't have to do this. An item, you say? A poison stone. Okay, I know where I want to go from here. Just run through all this. No problem. Are you kidding me? Oh, just what I love. I'm going to be honest, there's a bonfire right there. I took a slightly wrong turn, got invaded, and then got stunlocked. Ugh. <sighs> This is a very obnoxious area for that reason. Oh, also, because I died, all the statues have respawned. Okay, let's try this again. <sighs> I know exactly where you're at. Oh, maybe not. There we go, there's two of you gone. Move! Oh, you're kidding me. They stuck a stupid, petrified thing in the pathway. Second thing is that the invader is an NPC that I am not dealing with until I get that stupid bonfire open. I'm going to be honest. Putting a uh, statue there is just a gigantic middle finger to me. The reason they did it, because they know that most players are going to try to bum rush to it. Because nobody in their right mind wants to deal with these statues. Basically what you do is you just follow along this wall here and break the statues, go back to the bonfire. Don't worry about whether you get poisoned or not. Just keep smashing, keep estusing. Oh, hello there, statue I missed, because I didn't think you could spit at me. There you go. You get that many of them busted, and then you go back to the bonfire. Basically, you don't really want to mess with anything in this area until you get that bonfire over there because it's past the uh, gauntlet of poisonous stupidity. I do like the, uh, the design of the area. I just don't like the fact that the statues stagger you and just generally the fact that that petrified thing was stuck in my path. Hello.
Yeah, don't even try running past those. It's it's not worth the risk. Oh look, there's my stuff. Okay. Next, poison that, I meant burn that spot. Burn that spot. Uh. Okay, basically the plan is I run for it, unpetrify, run back. Don't care. Not dealing with you. Move. Bonfire. And kill over death. Nope. Can't use the bonfire because invaded, but because of the bonfire, I can now respawn. I really don't care. <laughs> Oh, good to know. So you can't hit me across that. Oh, so it's got the same moveset as the uh, greatsword. Good to know. Oh, this is tedious. Because he's forced to circle around the bonfire because he can't attack through it. This... No. Haha! <laughs> nope. I lost track of where... Okay, I broke that. I lost track of where everything was for a second. Rolled out of my backstab. Haha! <laughs> Take that! I'm out of stamina. Gotcha. A go away. <sighs> Give me my item. Peace. To my jeweler. <sighs> that, uh, that invader and the petrified person outside are not in the standard Dark Souls 2 or PS3 Scholar. Hence my shock at them being there. Yay, 40 more health. I, I, I don't have anything else to use it on at the moment, so lots of health. I'm gonna try leveling up the spear a little bit and seeing what it can do. Oh, I've already leveled it up some. Okay. I was about to say something in that math. I'll be around. Okay. Okay. 
And that's weighing me down a bit. I can at least get back down to below the 50% weight threshold. Hidden chamber. I pity whoever goes through Black Gulch without knowing about the hidden chamber bonfire. Oh, I have much pity for that. Hello, item. Hello, lockstone. But yes, that lets you drop down into there, and I'm going to check something. Just to make sure if there's any... Hmm. I'm actually going to look that up real quick. Oh, weird noise. Okay, so it turns out, yes, there is. I don't remember that skeleton being there. Oh, I'm hearing that. I already killed you, dang it! If I wanted your input, you whatever using thing, whatever weapon you've got, I'd ask for it. One moment, let's deal with him again. Why were you refusing to roll? Just sitting there hitting roll, 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 roll. And nothing happens. That's better usual. And I win. Now will you stop invading me and stop being a nuisance? I want to know how you dropped Orma's Great Shield, but okay, I can roll with that. Apparently I have to deal with some stuff before you respawn again or whatever. Be careful, a lot of these do contain gremlins. They're not actually gremlins, I, I'm just calling them that. Oh wow, that upgrade helped. And I'm getting ready here too. There should be one here. Nope. Okay. Yeah, those are a tr trap. Okay, fine. You really want to die, you stupid statue? Just want to open a treasure chest without having to jump cut over being stunned a bunch of times. This area makes me grumpy. Aha, there you are. I knew there had to be one more. And Goomba the Great shouldn't respawn as long as I don't use a bonfire. Hello there. I did not ask for you. I do feel bad for you, worm. But you're getting in my way. I'm trying to look for... There it is. Hello. I can't open that door yet, though. Okay, I'm trying to remember how do I... Okay, this one I can't open yet. I mean, there there's reasons for that. There should be... Aha! Aha! 
Oh no, I just remembered there's two things down here, one of which I really don't want to deal with. Oh no, there's maybe three things. No, this is not the cave I thought it was. This is the one I thought was behind the door. Eh, I don't want to deal with you. Go away. Go away. Oh look, giants! And you can fit out here now. That's not, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna die. Run for the love of all it is. That is a hole in the ground. That is a hole in the ground. That is not what I want. Okay, this room I can get back in the back of. And they shouldn't be able to follow me and watch it'll be a mimic. This day is not going well for me. Ring of Giants plus one and Petrified Dragon. Yeah, that's the one that uh, it gives you poise. Yay, 20 poise. Yes, I hear you. That doesn't mean I'm going to deal with you. Oh, hello. You don't see me. Yes, you can, like, cheese the fight by kind of fighting them from in here. But, uh, long time consuming and many arrows. Like that guy right there is doing. Bye bye. <gasps> bye bye. I want that item, but for now I want to live. And those statues worry me. Okay, I could have swore Lucy was supposed to be here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, while we're here... I'm gonna die trying to get this item and then just could be very grumpy. I am aware of you, giant. Are you aware of me, is the question. Yeah, you are. You are. Oh, crud. Me. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm gonna check that again. Okay. So. Wrong. Wrong ledge. I, I'm trying not to have to look stuff up for this, but uh, there's a quest thing for doing the Lucetil summoning. Why is it you can't just be like, if the torch lit, don't spit? I'm getting rid of this group because I know they'll mess me over if I don't. Aha, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. This better be worth it, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Oh, you. My thoughts are very scattered. <laughs> what is this curse? question rings in my mind, but I haven't the focus to answer it. Loss frightens me no end. Loss of memory, loss of self. 
If I were told that by killing you I would be freed of this curse, then I would draw my sword without hesitation. I don't want to die. I want to exist. I would sacrifice anything, anything at all for this. It shames me, but it is the truth. Maybe the thought driving all the hollows is that maybe they can take someone else's existence to prolong their own. Sometimes I feel obsessed with this insignificant thing called self. Even so, I am compelled to preserve it. Am I wrong to feel so? Surely you do the same in my shoes. Maybe we're all cursed. The moment we're born. I'm getting a lot of telemarketers today. I'm gonna have to start muting my phone. Sometimes I feel obsessed. Am I... Maybe uh, we're all in the moment. Okay. Bye bye, Lucy. Revenge. Revenge. This is that group that spits at you while you're trying to deal with the worm. Except you. You are my friend. You you can survive. Yeah, so can you too. Why is there a summon sign? Now I really want to see what... Lone Hunter Schmidt. I'm not here! No! No! Darn it! No! No! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ugh. The only reason I died, I got staggered by a little bit of poison spit. Oh no! I'm sorry, being hit with a water balloon doesn't stagger people. Even if it was caustic and inflicted pain, it wouldn't be enough to stagger you like that. I find that, from a physical perspective, just to be an obnoxious detail that doesn't make logical sense. They're using it as an environmental hazard that causes by staggering rather than being a hazard by its own merit. You could remove the element that it poisons you and just make it stagger you and it would be just as bad. Well, okay, almost just as bad. The poison's usually just what finishes you off. I don't care if you poisoned me, because you know what? I have infinite love. I can just chug. Set you goons on fire. And go my merry way. Good day to you, sirs. Rotten flames. Now I have to waste another one of these. Well, I didn't waste the first one, but you, you get the idea. Next we go to the hidden chamber, and now that we've talked to Lucetiel, she should be summonable. I should warn you that there are some environmental hazards in the next room that would that can be problem. I'm gonna go to the next room. At least poke my head out. And I'm going to be annoyed if Goomba decides to... Okay, before doing any summoning, it's best to get rid of the poison statues out here. I mean, that that one's uh, commonsensical. I don't think there's one there. Okay, good. You're dealt with. I'm sorry. I just have to deal with that. Because if I don't lose the tail, just going to get herself poisoned. Then things just go bad from there. 
Aha! Thought you would survive. Yes, I see there was one to the left. That one's nowhere near where Lucille can get herself messed with, so. Come on, Lucy. Come, Lucy. We must deal with this thing. Come, Lucy. Come on. Please tell me you're going to come that way. Okay, good. They've all been dealt with. Just... That is a weird noise coming through there. Nito and the Butcher had a baby, this is what the Rotten is. Uh, basically, people put the statues down there to try to keep him calm. <laughs> Breaking the statues makes him not calm. Ooh, that was a lucky roll. Oh, crap. I don't know, I don't remember his exact move set I just I do remember he has a grab that you don't want to get called in and he will try to lure you in to the why am I asked to sing this will not help Lucy uh oh uh oh get out of the way of that Oh crud, oh crud! That I remembered. A little too late, but... Lucy must survive. Oh. I will be honest, the Rotten is considered one of the easier of the four uh, great souls. A lot of people will use him to soul farm by burning a bonfire ascetic, ascetic right there at that bonfire, beat him, bonfire, beat him, bonfire, beat him, uh, to level up really quickly. Uh, this is also a point in the game where I usually forget that after every boss there's a side room. You've got to look for it. Got me in trouble a lot in the past. Just a big time waste when you get, when you forget. This is one of the uh, two great souls that I always forget there's a side room. Well, probably not anymore, but in my first, well, my only two other runs at the game, I, uh, I forgot about that and had to come back later. But yes, now that we've summoned Lucy and Lucy survived, the things can work. And also, the connection to another of the DLC areas, much like in the Iron Keep. Which we will see later. But first, we must light the fire. Yay, the gold. Oh, that's my spear. Okay, I just saw that shadow appear. And it made me jump. I was expecting something else to appear, so that's why I was a little jumpy there. But, now that we've defeated the Rotten, there's a thing I must do. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, what are you doing? You're gonna fall off the desk, you know that. Oh. 
You do have a rather good time. My item. Aww. Well, I do need the Ring of Whispers. I've already bought that, okay. I could have swore you started selling armor after I defeated the Rotten. This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. Well. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm gonna give a hint. Four greats. Yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent. It grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> okay, Chatty Cat. Uh, four great souls of whom people don't remember their names. Just a little food for thought. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? He's lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> the only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, Contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> this place is already... Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Nothing suited. Well, that's just... Okay, that is one thing I forgot to point out. I think I mentioned it, but uh, up here is the Covenant of Champions Covenant. It disables cooperative play, makes enemies stronger, makes enemies respawn infinitely, and gives them a chance at dropping all stones which are used to level up the Covenant. It does not disable you from being invaded or invading others, uh, but it's basically hard mode. Since it blocks summoning and I'm doing the NPC quests involving Lucille and Bernhardt and whatnot, I, uh, you know, not messing with it, but it is useful. One of many useful things you can do with it is the fact if you need an item that an enemy drops and have farmed them to despawning, rather than wasting bonfire acetics and getting that area out of sync with the rest of the game, just join the Covenant of Champions. That enemy will respawn infinitely and you can get the item you need. But... Minor jump cut and then leveling up. Uh, to make a certain thing. Hey, 60 more health. Okay, but that's the Rotten dealt with, that is the Last Center dealt with, and the Old Iron... well, not the Old Iron King, but... Uh, there is an Old Iron King and an Iron King and, and things. Uh, there's also a number of backtracking-ish things to do, as well as... Port of the Grave of Saints that I haven't actually gotten to uh, explore. I'm trying to remember how to get to it, though. So excuse me while I ramble roam and try to figure it out. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we've got to go through the shade. <laughs> My memory of the map is subpar, and I uh, forgot this is the uh, other entrance to the rat. Domain. I'm gonna deal with you first. Shaded Woods holds many secrets. Some pleasant, some not. Some door. Uh, I don't remember that door being shut. How does door? Oh, I'm sure it's just the same lever. I don't know why that sh closed again, though. I see. 
So I should have fought them first. Uh, ah! Ah! I just closed my eyes first. I closed my eyes to blink and that happens. Well, I mean, to kind of sarcastically... What do you roll? There we go. Die. Oh look, bonfire. I'm not even wasting an Estus on you people. The Basilisk can live this time. Thought I heard footsteps. Why are there so many messages? Toxic. Message. Message. Hurrah for message. Message required. Try message. Visions of message. So many message. This is the Shaded Woods. Beware of these guys. Okay, can you stop just running towards me like a... <laughs> the spear's weakness. Enemies that get close. I try to back away and he just berserk runs straight into my face. Not pleasant. rock at me. I saw two of you throw rocks at me. You missed. The penalty for missing is death. The penalty for bopping me in the head with a staff is also death. The penalty for... Ooh, message. 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 Why are you all dying? Ferris Lockstone. Fine work, Boulder. Indeed! Uh, anyway. You guys I don't remember. Will you stop just running into my face? Yeah. Back off! Goodness! Get out of my face! Soul of a proud knight. Human effigy. I don't see what all the fuss was about. All of them just gathered around it. Bonfire! Yeah, there's three paths from here. None of which lead to fun. Okay, one of them leads to, if you have a million soul memory, you can skip the four bosses and go that way, but... Let's see, I think one leads to a dead end. Ah, you weren't here before. Okay, you're friendly. I think this is the one that leads... You were not here before, sir. There we go. Fall over. Too close, and not enough stamina. There we go. You have been poked. Uh, I don't know what is with you cyclopses and being places you ain't supposed to be. You're gonna aggro, aren't you? You're gonna stop being my friend, aren't you? Yep. 
little petrifying thing. They will petrify you. The red tear stone ring. When you're on low health, you do more damage. Blue tear stone ring is defense. I've not seen people really generally use them, but if you're, you know, pro master dodger and you can keep your health low while not being hit, they'd be quite good to use. Ah, King's door. Yes, we cannot go through there. Hello, sir. You you just keep guarding that door. Yeah, that one's blocked for now. If you remember in Dark Souls 1, there were the big golden gates that we could... Well, the golden walls we couldn't pass through until we beat... Uh, no, until we had the Lord Vessel. Same concept. So that way is blocked off. I think going to the left is a dead end, but there should be a shield. Whoa! Uh... I don't remember fighting you. I know the shield you're using, but I don't remember fighting somebody to get it. Well, that's a thing. Where are you shooting me from? Ah, I see you now. I want that bow. That's different. That's new. That wasn't in the other Dark Souls. Neither were you. There was just more of those green, green guys. Oh! Good gracious! Almost a two second delay on getting him to roll just because he was a little bit shot in the back by an arrow. And yes, that, that's, that's meant to sound sarcastic. It's just a flesh wound. Shrug it off. Roll! There we go. Yeah, this area is very different. And that guy is very dead. It was usually just a swarm of the, uh... The green guys with the big bellies. Yeah, those guys. Oh, that's right. Was there a bonfire? How did he respawn? I don't know. I don't remember if I... I, I think there was a bonfire, but I don't know if I rested at it. Yes, this is the day. Ah! What the? That's new. I was gonna say, I thought there was a Flexel Sentry down here, and the sad thing is, I when I saw the Phantom, I said it would be really neat if somewhere in the game was a Phantom enemy that the player would ignore and then die to. And then I got to thinking that I can't target lock you. Oh, you're one of those guys. I've never seen one outside of that area, so I didn't know what they looked like. Yes, that was really helpful to roll away and then swing. Uh, you know what? I don't care. You go fall in a hole. I'm getting the item and then I'm leaving. Actually, no. You die. How do you like it? Ha! I'm suspicious of all phantoms now. But no, really, as I walked over the hill, I saw a phantom and I said, wouldn't it be neat if one of them turned out to be an enemy? And then I just kind of shrugged and said that the, the AI on it would be difficult to make it look legitimate. But, uh, there's normally a flexile sentry down there guarding the Shield and the Great Axe, Great Crescent Axe, which is kind of, 
Wow, you're gonna call that a great axe. Tiniest great axe ever. Okay, so that's two out of three of the paths you've seen. The third path is the least fun. Uh, there is a DLC item that would that can allow you to target lock onto them, but... Oh wait, you can actually see them? Oh, it's because I was outside of the area. Yeah, you can see the guy from here. Because I'm outside of the area, technically. This is technically cheesing it a little bit. Come get me. Come get me, turkey. See the uh, the shade filter. I meant the, the fog happens. You can still kind of see them. Okay, that's one dealt with. You don't want to hold still in this area for too long. Man, that's spooky. Ah. Some of those may be other players, I can't tell. But basically, there's a few items in this area to get. But you generally just don't hang around here for too long because of those goons. Aha! I did not expect him to come up here. Normally, this area up here is safe. I literally just caught a glimpse of him. I was stopping back there to force any that were following me to go around. Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. This is Vengarl's head. What business have you here, traveler? You may call me Vengarl, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then... Somebody killed me. Or so I thought. I came to, and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it. But it's not so bad, really. Now I watch the days go by, and gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things, far removed from war. I've grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You may bear a great burden, don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance, but I want to warn you of something. My body, I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. My body, wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. My body will show no mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. And thanks to you, I've recalled the joy of conversation. If I can help you, if you require something, do speak up. Yay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he sells great swords. Yay, just what I need. I'll buy ten of those, please. He also sells destructive great arrows. Will you? Down. Uh, lightning urn and gold pine resin, an infinite supply. Magic barrier. And claymore. Hmm. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes. But we soldiers stared death in the eye together, 
and for his highness. I am afraid, but perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in Ferroza, to land in the distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a sellsword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I can imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days, but such contentment lies only in the here and now. Why must life be so confounding? Thank you for lending an ear to my ramblings. Here, take these. I have no use for them. Oh! I forgot about that. Go along and resume your journey. Farewell. I will retire to my silence. Let's look at it. I always forgot that that's how you got that. Oh, there it is, Vengarl's helmet. It is a very nice helmet. But the extra item drop is also very nice. Now, I'm not going to make a full run of the items in this area for the moment. Due to the hole. There is no hole there, but there will be a hole in my back if I keep facing away from facing the walls like that. Uh, I'm not going to fully explore this. You attack those and it'll temporarily lure some of the shadows away. Well, they're sh not shadows. But, uh, but until I get an item later that makes... And so I can target them, I just don't feel like dealing with them at the moment, so I'm just going to move forward to the next section. There's a few items, a nice ring, that you can be... that can be gotten from that area. Well, a nice ring in concept. I've never seen anybody actually use it to much effect. After you take enough damage, it builds up and creates an explosion around you, but... Typically in Dark Souls, you try to avoid taking damage, and I don't remember you sitting... You're new. You're going to kill me if I... Yep. Then I find out he was just getting up to like shake my hand. Back here, you. Back here, you. I want to reuse the bonfire, but he'll also respawn. He was not normally there before. I can jump down there and do kind of a thing. Also, beware if you've got humanity in this area. It's the land of laughing urns. They, uh, they put curse on you, which each stage of curse just lowers your humanity stage by one as if you had died. There is normally a giant basilisk right there. There's also normally three large axe-wielding guys hanging around here. Basically, just destroy the urns when you see them. You're petrified. You were not petrified before, nor were you here. That makes me want to unpetrify you because I don't remember you being there. I want to know what's in that treasure chest that was also not guarded before. Oh, yay! You don't stagger. Good to know. You don't stagger for beans. Goodness sake. Two hits and he didn't stagger still. I guess I'll call the three human effigies worth it, but yeah, that feels a little like a waste. Okay, there's two directions I can... What is that? Well... I'm, I'm gonna go this way. Short version. Short answer. I hear movement. No, 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 no cursing. Not wasting that effigy. I see you, sir. Oh, come on! Where is the urn? Okay. 
fine, I'm leaving. Come get me if you can, sucker. Wow, did that did that really work? Good to know. Flame butterfly and fifteen minutes worth of torch. weren't here before either. Will you stop it with the combo stabs? <laughs> I got health. And you got dead. I do like that they put them, you know, in... There you are. I do like that there's more of them now and they're outside of just that shaded area. That is, that's at least nice. Interesting. There's a crystal lizard up here, but just so you know... I find that to be annoying, but I don't really need Titanite that badly as such to care. And there's a scorpion man down there. For whom is part of why we are here. If you remember, we bought the Ring of Whispers. Basically, if an enemy is nearby, you occasionally hear it grumble. Uh, it has a sec... It has a secondary effect, though, much like the old witch's ring. Human, are we? This is no place for you. Be gone. Are you not afraid of me? You seem friendly enough. Humans rarely come here. Those who do turn back when they see me. Or make an attempt on my life. But you are different. We once had a master. He created us long, long ago. But he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Eventually, he drove himself mad. Don't like anybody we know? It was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up we strange creatures. A certain scaleless individual? Our master was a tragically lonely soul. Eventually, his solitude eroded his very reason. In the end, he never understood what it was that he truly lacked. Nobody knows when we were born. Or where our master has gone. The only ones who even speak a human tongue are myself and my better half. I wish to ask a favor of you. I want you to kill my betrothed. Once, I always found her at my side. But as time went on, things went awry. She became violent. Raging uncontrollably. Eventually, she came after me. And we have been locked in combat ever since. He seems to be injured. Look at the positioning of his legs. He's either resting or he's got some injuries on left legs. We seem to be at a standstill. The wounds we exchange are never lethal. I was born of my master's madness. Perhaps this is some curse. I will be sure to assist you in return. And assist us you shall, sir. But yes, that is, uh, that is him, and you have to have the Ring of Whispers on to communicate with him. Let's swap that out. Let's go with the Ring of Blades since we're fully human at the moment.
I, they're making me waste fragrant branches, and I've got things that I need to be saving those for. But my curiosity gets the best of me. I win. Wait, weakness, what? Head. Holy, hello! Whoa, 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 you're not supposed to be here. Whoa, buddy, you're not even supposed to be in this part of the game. Okay, so two stabs with the spear staggers him. But he's also lethal enough that I don't want to get too greedy. Oh, one two-handed stab is all it takes. I like the new placement for him being down here. He's normally in a completely different region. I don't have a just boatload of these to waste, you know. Hello? Am I trying to backstab it? Like, is the game actually registering that? <sighs> anyway. So I guess we're jump cutting. Okay, well we're back out here. See, there was normally a giant basilisk right here. The fact that that house is full of barrels and it wasn't before worries me. I'm gonna say air on the side of caution. Oh, there you are. Is that where you were hiding, sir? Okay, that works. Lion skirt. Yay. Are you friendly? Nope. Not friendly. I would have let you live, sir. That that worked out just off the line. Okay, he's blocking an item. Oh, they're each different colors, too. I like that. Get in there. That was a horrible trade, but I'll take it. No items to be had. That's two fragrant branches I'm gonna need. I'm getting lots of Pharos lock stones, which is going to be useful later. I should warn you. See how that ground looks slightly wooden and different? Ah! Oh no, now there's two of you! No! You couldn't pay me enough. And you triggered the trap for me. Yeah, basically the game assumes that you'll run towards it to try to break the curse jar. And uh, go right down into the hole full of corrosion and basilisks. You're lucky my spear is at risk. Why? <sighs> what happened is he probably opened the chest and then died to the guy. Petrified dragon bone. Okay. To the bonfire to repair the spear. I can't afford that to be breaking right now.
Okay, time to level up. There's 40 more health. And I suppose... Oh, I didn't notice about that item. But yes, let's get this item. I suppose we will save the other side of this for next time. Because we're getting running this one kind of long. And look, another petrified thing. Ah, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. I will see you next time.